Hello, I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. Well, today is Wednesday and it was a school day. Very busy day. Today, for a few extra things, we had, uh, oh gee, I almost forgot what we had here. Uh, we had music today and we also had iPods, iPads, <laughs> thrown into the mix of our regular routine. Yeah, so it's been a busy day at work. And at home, I still have a few things. When I get everything wrapped up, I have a little project for us to uh, work on, okay? So let me finish up, and I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, to make these easy little slippers, first thing you need is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then you'll need a darning needle. Most important, you need yarn. Oops, and I'm holding it upside down for you. Here we go. This is the one I'm using today. I'm trying to make it so it's not so dark, so that's what we're gonna do. To start to make these, what you need to do first is you need to measure your foot. I measured my foot already. I used this piece of yarn because in my house, I never can find a tape measure when I need one, but I can always find yarn. So I'm gonna chain first the length of this. So I'm gonna get my yarn out and get started. Well, you know what? I'm gonna need a long tail on this. Need a long tail because you've got to do some sewing after putting it putting it together. Here we go. And true to form, I always put the yarn on the wrong side, so let's switch that over first thing. Here we go. I'm not getting adjusted here very easy. <laughs> Here we go. Still going, because I know my foot is longer than that. Okay. I don't usually like to make um, <laughs> blocks like this, squares, because I am not so good at figuring out when the end of the uh, row is. But I may have discovered a secret because I had to make a square to start out with, right? So, I'm going on, have to remember to keep it where you can see it. Measure this against my little piece of yarn. I still need a little more, right? See that? I just need just a little more. Okay. Now let's measure it again. Yes, that'll do it. Okay, and now I'm going to give it another three. One, two, three. And I'm going to crochet one, and I need to crochet into each chain, okay? So here we go. Got that one. Ooh, it's kind of dark, huh? Make sure I don't miss my spot here. The next one right there. This is pretty slow when I do this on. <laughs> I put it on tape. It doesn't take me this long usually, but hey, I'm trying to do it nice for you. Oops. We my yarn here. 
Okay. You, you got the idea. I have to go all the way to the end. So to save us some time, I'm going to turn this off and we're going to come back when I'm through here. Okay, here we are at the end. When you get to the end, you're going to chain one, turn it over, and we're not going to go in that very first one. We're going to go into the second one right here. We're not going into the very first one. You probably can't see it because it's dark, but we're going to go right here into the second one. And we are going to keep going across doing rows, I mean, until we make a square, okay? So I am gonna leave you to it, and then I'll come back and show you when I, when I finally get there, okay? So a couple more on this one, and then I'm gonna turn it off, and we will meet back again when you have a square, okay? Or when I have a square. <laughs> okay, we're back. And you can see I've got my square made. I'm going to use this side for the heel. I don't know if you can see this string here, it's kind of long. And then on the front end here, I've got it tied off already. We're going to use this one for the toe end. And I've got a fairly long string here. Probably too long for what we need. But better safe than sorry, right? I'm going to give it a little clip. Okay. Next step to making this is you need to weave the needle in and out. All the way across. In, out, in, out. We're going to gather this, is what this is for. So, I don't know if I'm showing you how I'm doing this. I'm just going under and I'm weaving. And then I'm going to pull it tight when I get all the way across. So if you can see how I'm doing it, weaving in and out. I didn't realize this was going to take so long. In and out some more. <laughs> Reminds me of In and Out Burgers, huh? <laughs> Where is my mind? <laughs> I need to have dinner, huh? I'm having chili for dinner tonight. I like chili, especially since we've had cold weather. I guess you could say I'm having stuffed Fritos because I'm having it with Fritos. Where's my string? <laughs> that shows you how long it is. Yeah. Through some more. My thing on screen here. It's rather dark, isn't it? Almost there. Oh my goodness. Almost there. <sighs> there we go. Now we're going to pull. We're supposed to be able to gather this toe piece together. Of course, true to form, having some kind of issues here. Ah, uh, long string issues. That's what I'm having. Okay, here we go. You see how it's come together here? Let 
I'm going to go back into the very first one. Where's the very first one? Still got a little more gathering to do, don't I? Because I don't want toes to come out, so I better be for sure it's gathered properly. Okay. Here's my very first one. I'm going to go in there. And pull it like nobody's business. Then I'm going to do a couple stitches across to try to lock it into place. I'm going to go one more time. Better safe than sorry. Better too much than not enough. Oh, and it did close up rather nice, didn't it? Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is, now that we have this done, that's the toe. We're going to go across the top now. So I need to weave this together. If you've ever made a blanket and weave things together, you know how that goes, right? It says go halfway across. Let me line these up a little bit. Getting kind of close to my work. I wonder if you can hear me breathing. <laughs> well, we'll find out in a minute, huh? When I go to watch this again. Okay. Okay, that looks like about half to me. So I'm going to tie this off as well. Then I want it to stay. I'm going to slip in this way. No, that's not going to give me very many to go that direction, is it? But yeah, we're going to go that way anyway. I'm going to do a couple stitches this way. And back this way a little bit. Okay. It should be in there. Okay, now we have the back side to do. We're going to do the same thing going down the back. And when we get down to the heel, we'll have to do some special attention. Otherwise, when you turn it, it's going to be like a, a little point down there. So I'm going to do the same thing I did for the top. I'm just going to go down, and when we get closer to the hill, I'll come back, okay? Okay, you can see I've sewn down here. I have like, uh, let's see how many stitches left. Um, we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six. What I am going to do, instead of continuing to sew like this, I am going to flatten this just a little bit like this. And that will take care of that little peak I'm going to have. Of course, I have to do a little cheating to get that done. I have to come down to the end here. There we go. And then I'm just going to weave it like I did the other one. 
I hope that's not going to make too big of a knot down there. Only one here. There we go. When you go through here, I want to make a little knot. As I go across, just a little slip. There. Just about a couple more. And here I am at the end. There we go. I'm going to cut this string and then we're going to turn it right side out and take a look at it. Well, here you go. It's all finished. I am going to try it on for you. I'm going to put it on my foot and let's see what it looks like. Well, here we go. What do you think? It's a little big, so I guess that means I didn't need those extra stitches after all. So it's not tight on me at all. And that's because I put those extra stitches at the beginning. But the toe came together good. See? No gap down there. And the heel. It didn't come to a point. So, yeah. Let's take it off and take a better look at it here. Cute little slipper. Well, that's all. Well, that's all I have for now. The slipper is done, and I have to make its mate. And plus, I have dinner. So, um, <laughs> I hope I showed you this early enough that you will have time to make some of these if you are looking for something nice and warm and easy to make for for somebody you like at Valentine's Day. So it's very easy. There's lots of different ways you can decorate it. You can like make flour to put on top or a flower, let me say a flower to put on top, or maybe a little heart or, hey, a bow. A bow would be nice too. And it doesn't have to be crocheted either. You can buy like a flower or something to put on top. So um, yeah, that's an idea. One for first idea for Valentine's Day. So that's all I have for today. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye.